Depends, exactly, it depends. Hi James, pleasure to meet you. Mark Duncan for Smart Move. Mark, good to meet you. Great stuff. So happy to walk you through the 3D dual force plates here or wireless uh, 3D plates. So yeah. yeah, if you'd like to go ahead and uh, hit a few chips, I'll capture some data and then we can go from there. Eh? Perfect. All right. Sounds good. All right, good to go. So you can go on, James, and just uh, rock your feet back to forth. Actually, I'll show it to you here and then we'll calibrate your feet. Start via detection. So then it just detects your feet and then we're good to go. You'll get a signal, start swing. Whenever you're ready, you can- And I can uh, move around on these plates yeah, now, you can right? Move I've freedom. Yeah, Start swing. Nice one. Video top left, just for pure reference. We don't have any tools to draw lines or circles or anything like that. Yep. Top right is the central pressure what we call point of application. Uh, we've also got the 3D option here, which shows you the force vectors, how the ground's reacting, obviously, yep. as you're moving. Uh, this is a simple view here down at the bottom, just to you know give you an introduction to the ground reaction forces from left to right. Lateral force, AP force, vertical force. Blue is obviously lead foot, red is trail foot, yellow is the total. And then we have the option to view it in the graph form, which gives us a little bit more of a deep dive into the movement, you know, graph shapes, show up some weaknesses and stability, and you know, hips, wherever that may be. So first uh, graph is the kinetic sequence. So from bottom to top, just matching up the lines here, black is lateral force, yellow is AP force, and orange or brown is uh, vertical force. And then we have each force independently. So you've got lateral force, lead foot, trail foot, yellow total, AP force, the same, lead foot, trail foot, yep. uh, yellow total. Same with uh, lateral force as well, and it will measure the vertical torque as well independently. Awesome, so just run through the forces for me, like AP force is the... Yeah, pushing, exactly, pushing up and down the shirt. Yep. Yep. First one that goes is the lateral force, which is the horizontal, yep. right to left. And then the last one that should go, that's what it's all about, how you time your vertical force. You know, okay. how you have so, to extend. So go up. lateral, AP, Lateral, vertical. kinetic sequence is lateral, AP, vertical. Yeah. Uh, so that would be full swing relevant. Correct. Have you yeah. done much short game measurement in this? Not at the moment, okay. although it's an area we're really looking to, to get a, okay. so it's a good, good understanding right? of. Yeah, so, so it's a see, great start. We can see if the sequences so. are the same or, or different. I would say, sort of gut feeling, I would say it's a little bit different, yeah. Um, there's probably not going to be as much uh, lateral force, obviously, what with yep. the length of the shot. Maybe some kind of rotational, but I would say there's more vertical going on, mm -hmm. if anything. Yeah, as you're sort of extending up out the shot, yep. yeah depending on how you want to want to play the shot. Yeah, so that, that well. would be pattern dependent. Correct. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be cool to run through some different patterns here. Correct. Initially on the flat, and then we'll start moving around on the slopes, and we yeah. can start to figure out what changes there. Correct. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Start swing. Off you go. Perfect. Do you hold it? <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> <laughs> Comment. So you would say that's just your stock chip shot? That's stock, yep. yeah. Okay, do something a little different. That might go in. Oh. <sighs> Lift it. This year? Can I see the face on video alone? I just, I'll just focus sure. on it for a second to see if I executed it pretty well. You can just drag it along there. We can see there just on the bar alone that there's a lot more vertical force going on. Yeah, That'll than work. Anything else? That'll yeah. work. Uh, all right, next one. Minimal rotational force or AP force is still very much predominantly vertical force. I mean, you, you should see peak vertical as the club's sort of parallel to the ground, yeah. Going off full a full swing, swing yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of similar in some respects, because you're, I mean, when the club's parallel to the ground, I guess you're starting to sort of extend up out the, the shot. The handle's probably going to be moving up. And the handle's point. moving up, correct, yeah. And the lateral? Is the black, yeah. That's, that's dropping. That's dropping pretty much as you're transitioning. Uh, down towards impact. So is that just a reduction in how fast I'm moving left or is it actually how, moving the back? The movement, yeah. The, how far you're moving towards the target. Okay, yeah. so it's a reduction in how fast Reduction, yeah. Okay, good. So that's important to differentiate. You see a graph go Correct. down, it's not me going backwards, it's just not going forwards, it's yeah. fast. Yeah. Got it, perfect. It's uh, slightly higher, slighted or? Steep. Steep. That was pretty good. good. Yeah. Happy with that one? So these are, again, steep, yeah? 
Yeah. There's a difference in vertical force. I would expect so. There's a difference there's in more. vertical force. There's more. I'd expect it to be a lot more. There is more. You're reaching almost, you're almost getting to actually the threshold. And but probably late, much later. I'd expect it to be yeah. later than Yeah, it is shots. later because you're, yeah. I'm, I'm like moving. you're gliding more, right? I'm moving wanna... forwards as soon as the club starts back. I'm yeah. moving more forwards and I'm trying to delay this and then back out the ground again. Yeah, there, it's more, there's more vertical force happening, yep. Oh, <laughs> that's going to spin. <laughs> Are these the Victor Hovland specials? Yeah. <laughs> so that was against Steep, right? Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's start, that should be some interesting graphs there. That's that's gone up, yeah, for sure. Your vertical. And not a big difference in EP. I would say as well, not 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 big change. Lateral pretty similar. Biggest difference is vertical force uh, compared to the ones you hit lat previously. Lateral. I'm, I'm using similar numbers, but am I doing it? I'm going to be doing it earlier. I'm obviously yeah, the, the shape's different. Yeah, yeah, but in terms of the um, magnitude, it's pretty similar. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so similar, similar size of shift, just yeah. way earlier. Yeah. So the well, the first three patterns, they're, they're patterns that I would teach players because I, I don't just teach one method. Yeah. It's important to recognise certain characteristics to players and, and how they move and try and best fit what you do to that. Small adjustments, of course. Um, and then we're getting into more of the fun stuff, some more speciality shots. So we're looking for that kind of real low launching spinner that's super steep. So just exploring so that I can exploit it with players. Perfect. Right. Okay. Interesting. Yep. That's my favorite line at the moment. Exploration. Exploration. For exploitation. I like that. Yeah, that's that what we do. Good. That's, yeah, a, that's, why, is, that's yeah. why our games start to suck. Yeah. Because we explore so much so that we can use it on the lesson tee, not ourselves. Exactly. <laughs> right. Let's go shallow. Now you tell me that didn't stop quick, right? It probably it probably is spinning less, but it launched higher, and because of the land angle, a little bit less vertical force, yeah, compared to the steep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fraction less. So because it's because it's wide over, right? Because I'm going this way. Yeah, of course. There's, yeah. There's less need for me to get the club moving up and away from the ground. Yep. That makes sense. That was shallow. That was very shallow. That was picked right off the top. Cool. Can we? That, I'm happy with that. Cool. That's like five different patterns yep. I put on there, mm -hmm. and that, that's kind of all I need. Um, slopes, slopes, yeah. Back down here somewhere. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do a down slope first. So this will be interesting to see. So I could, I can stand there and go try and hit a relatively stock flight with the slope, or I can try and add height from the down slope. Did you so, change the club as well, or are you keeping the same club? Same. It's the most lofty club in my bag anyway. So. Nearly hold it. The cool thing about verticals. Them, going back to similar numbers like uh, the steep one, which would make sense, right? Because I'm, I'm already down right here. Yeah. Lateral, I wouldn't expect much to be going Not on. Not much going on. I'm there AP, already. nigh on, non-existent. So obviously it's set up, you've got 90% on your lead foot. So the, the blue vectors, obviously the ground's pushing hard back because yeah. you've got your weight uh, primarily there. So it's push it, it's back that way the, the whole time. It's, it's, it's going away from the target. Yeah. yeah. Let's hit something a little bit higher. Pushed it. Sounded nice. Pushed it a little bit. Oh, the ball's oh, moving. The ball moved. <laughs> How did I catch up with that? There might be some extra lateral on that one. <laughs> that's oh, that loaded. sounded nice. Oh, lateral, yeah. There's a little bit more EP, marginal primarily so again, vertical force. Probably a slight ramping up because I've opened the face more. So the ball's going to come off slower. Yeah. So I have to ramp the swing speed up overall. Yeah. So I expect the forces to start to jump a little bit yeah. more. Perfect. Upslope? Uh, yeah, so the slope's five degrees this time. It was six on the downslope, but it's still going to be nine to ten percent. Should be. Okay, so first ball, I'm going to go with the slope. I'm not going to fight it, try and hit something lower. I'm just going to hit a trajectory that is a relatively normal swing. Um, and it's obviously going to produce something higher than normal because of that extra, extra upslope. It's a slope. <laughs> Just try not to fall over. So more lateral, marginally more EP, but nothing really to get excited the, about. Uh, Total force. Are we, now, are we now pointing up the hill, into the hill? Yeah. And is that staying constant throughout? It's still forwards a little bit, but reduces. It's reduced. It's, mm, I would say it's slightly more towards target impact. Yeah. Here, the yellow one. Yeah, yeah. So it's forward quite a lot at address. Mm. It's forward at it's, address it's forward and, it, time, right? and it's forward pretty much throughout the whole swing. It gets yeah. more in transition so, so and no, then comes back to somewhere about where it was at. At, at, at no point am I starting to go this way, which the hill wants me to do, but yes. I'm counteracting Correct. the hill. Yep. 
Gotcha. Uh, something a little lower off the upslope? Okay. I might actually think so again, about... Yeah, laterals definitely increased here off this lie. Vertical as well is quite high. And uh, similar with the total force vector. So yeah, when you set up, slightly angled towards target, yep, the so yellow, into the hill, into the hill increases more so, into transition so, yeah, and then so goes doing back. Doing transition, to right? Into a little bit, transition more into the hill. Let's give me that lower flight, because I've not done it through setup, I've basically set up with the ball in the middle still, but I've moved in, and that's where you've yep. seen that lateral force yep. go up more. Yeah, correct, yeah, as you're moving in, yeah. A little higher off the upslope, correct. Sounded better. Yeah, so similar with lateral, the yellow vector total, as you get to the top of backswing, yeah, it starts tilting towards target, and, oh, ooh, you go more there, obviously, yeah. Stays that way just before impact starts to level out. Bigger, bigger spike in the vertical. Yeah, that was your biggest. That, that, that was the biggest uh, spike in vertical force out of yeah. all the shots with so it. Because obviously I'm not. I'm not going to start pushing up and back early. Start going this way and then quite late because I'm yeah. going to release it hard, push up and away this way. Yeah. Because then I'm in position to actually push up. Yeah. The slope wants me to go there, fight it, and then ramp up the vertical. It's just too hard, but it's high. Def yeah, there's definitely more rotational force. There's a lot more of all the forces here because we're going more towards full swing, obviously. Yeah. 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 So it's definitely more rotational. The highest rotational force out of all the shots, the highest lateral, and the highest vertical. Nice. Is that better for you? Sounded nice. I mean, the last thing, you, last thing you want is when you're coming in with the face wide open is to be starting to go into your toes. Right. But your center like, of pressure right. there was less in your toes. You were more in the ball of your foot there. It was definitely yeah. less. Uh, than... At shaft parallel, it was just Excuse behind me. the ball of your left foot. This way. Got, did you delete the shank or did you leave it in I there? deleted it, yeah. Oh no. I reckon I would have been way into the toes. So I just tried to sit into as my low heels as you can there. way more. Yeah, point of application is a lot better there. Yeah, on that one. At shaft, last shaft parallel, you're less in your toes, more in the ball. And ver vertical force is a little bit less compared to other shots. Should we shank one? Gonna shank one. All right, let's see it. Oh, that was a good effort. That was way in the heel. Just, uh, yeah, center of pressure is more on your toes there, on the lead foot, yeah. Oh, Ooh, there it is. There you go, I got it. There it is. I got the shank. That was a high speed shank as well. That was going. That was a hosel rocket. <laughs> that was a proper hosel rocket. Yeah, but look at your, uh, see your I'm point like, of application there? It's, like outside outside of my, of it's outside of my foot. <laughs> <laughs> it's, over, it's over here somewhere. Because yeah. you know, the last thing you can have when the club's coming around like this, getting like, wider, longer, is that I'm way. Saying, like, I'm, not gonna, I'm not shanking another one. Okay. All right. All right. James, thank you very much for your time today. It was a pleasure to walk around the green here with you and experience some different shots from different lies, slopes. Yep. I hope it was valuable for yourself. Yeah, and it was, gave it you some information. It was great fun. Obviously, it's a it's kind of a research thing for me, so I'm going to be able to go away, get the app open and start to dig through things. I'm not sure anything really surprised me from what I saw. It's yep. kind of as, as predicted, but getting the quality of data to actually back it up, it's like hugely helpful and important. Um, I also learned why I shank flop shots, which, you know, is only going to help. That, that, that's only going to help, obviously, in the long run. James, thank you very much for thank your time. You Absolute pleasure, yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks.